Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be covering testing backend integration points, what is tester driven development, and what is repel driven development. I will explain these three topics in detail. Guys, I have uploaded complete DevOps subject tutorials. I will provide that link in description. You can watch from there. If you are watching this video for the first time, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. At first, I will explain testing backend integration points. Guys, backend testing is like checking the parts of your machine that you can't see. When you use your website or app, the front end is what you interact with, like text, button, image, etc. And whereas backend is everything behind the scene that makes front end works, like databases, servers, applications, etc. Guys, I will give an example so that you can clearly understand this definition. For example, it is consider Facebook app or website. Whenever you open Facebook app or website, you can see Facebook image and you can see username, password, and login button. So whatever you see, we call it as front end. Here I can see Facebook image, username, password, and login button. So we call it as front end. Whenever I enter username, password, and then click on login button, automatically I can log in into Facebook account. How it happened? This is because of backend. In backend, I return code. In frontend, whenever I click on login button, automatically my backend code will work. Automatically, this code will connect to my Facebook server, and then this code will verify whether my username and password is correct or not. For example, I want to upload one image in Facebook. So whenever I click on upload button, automatically in backend my code will work and then this image will be stored in facebook database so front end is nothing but whatever you see we call it as front end and in order to make this front end work you need to write code in backend whenever you write code in backend this code is connected to facebook server databases etc so testing backend code that is connected to servers databases applications etc is known as backend testing so backend testing is like checking the parts of your machine that you can't see when you use website or app, the front end is what you interact with, like text, button, images, etc. And the back end is everything behind the scene that makes front end work. Example databases, servers, applications, etc. So back end test is nothing but checking hidden parts of code, like databases, servers, APIs, etc. So back end testing ensures that all the hidden parts are working correctly, storing data properly, and communicating with each other without any errors. It involves checking databases, servers, APIs to make sure everything functions correctly. By using SOAP method and REST method, we can automate backend testing, where SOAP stands for Simple Object Access Protocol and whereas REST stands for Representation State Transfer. By using these two methods, we can automate backend testing. And these two methods are mainly used to automate backend testing on websites and APIs. Guys, API stands for Application Programming Interface. This is nothing but code. The code that we write in order to connect frontend and backend is known as application programming interface. And there is one tool called SOAP UI tool. By using this tool, we can write and run backend testing. We can run test step by step and it is very easy to use. These are benefits of SOAP UI. And the first one is easy for testers. It is easy to write and run testing. And second advantage is good for developers. Guys, in order to perform testing, there is no need of developers to open SOAP UI main screen. Directly, we can open command prompt and then we can perform testing and also we can connect SOAP UI with CI-CD process. So automatically in CI-CD process testing will take place. And third one is free version. We can download SOAP UI software with free of cost in internet. Guys, this is how SOAP UI will work. Guys, whenever you open SOAP UI software, on one side you can see all kinds of tests. So by seeing all kinds of tests, so directly you can select whatever the test that you want to perform. Either you can select single test or you can also select multiple tests. And whenever you click on short button, automatically testings will be performed and directly you can see result on other side. Guys, whatever the test that you want to perform, you need to select the test and you need to write the script in XML format. So XML format is very easy to understand. So XML is very easy to read, modify and organize. And anytime you can modify that XML script because XML script is very easy to understand. Next, I will explain what is test driven development. Shortly, we call it as TDD. Tested driven development is a way of developing software where you write tests before you write the actual code. It became popular in 1990s because of extreme programming. Guys, I will give an example so that you can clearly understand what is tested driven development. For example, I want to develop software. So at first, what I will do? At first, I will develop software. After developing software, then I will develop testing code in order to perform testing. 
But test driven development is completely opposite. At first, we need to develop test code in order to perform testing on software. After completely developing test scripts, then you need to start developing your software. So test driven development is nothing but before developing actual software, at first you need to develop test code in order to perform various kinds of testings. And this method is popular because of extreme programming, which was introduced in 1990s. How TDD works? This is the first step. Write the test first. At first you need to understand all requirements and features of new software. Then you need to start writing test code that need to be performed on your code. Before developing any software, at first you need to understand features of that software, like how software must look, how software must behave, etc. And then you need to develop test code in order to perform testing on your software. Second one is check the test fails. Initially, I did not write code to develop my software. So whenever I perform testing, my test must fail. This is expected because there is no code to pass your test. Guys, after writing complete test code, now you need to start developing your software. I will not write any code to develop software. Just I will save my file. So whenever I perform testing on my file, automatically my testing will fail because I did not return any code to develop my software. So after writing complete test code, at first you need to perform testing on initial software and you need to check whether your software will fail or not. Definitely your software will fail because I did not return any code. And third step is write the code. There is no need of developing complete software. Just you need to develop software with only basic features. And then you need to perform testing on your software. So here your software must pass. And fourth one is run all tests. Guys, after developing complete software, you need to perform various kinds of testings on the software. If all kinds of testings are passed, then your testing is successful. And fifth step is improve the code. We also call this step as refactoring. In this step, we will arrange code in proper format. And also we will remove unnecessary files in the software. So TDD helps you to understand what the software should do before starting the code. It also creates various kinds of testings to make sure everything works correctly. And this test driven development is very much useful in continuous integration, continuous deployment because frequently we will keep on releasing new version of software. At that time, this method is useful. Next, I will explain what is REPL driven development. Guys, REPL stands for read, eval, print loop. This REPL is software. By using this software, you can write and test your code using programming languages like Lisp, Python, Ruby, JavaScript. In any of this programming language, you can write code in order to perform testing. In this software, you can write code, immediately run and test it. Guys, by using this software, you can write code in order to perform testing. Immediately, you can execute the testing code and you can see results. So this software allows quick testing and feedback. Guys, this is how REPL works. And the first one is write small function. For example, let us say I want to develop Kali website. So at first, I will create one simple function in order to create user login form in that Kali website. So at first, I will create simple function in order to create login form in that website. And this function must be independent. And this function must not depend on any part of the code. This function must be independent. And second step is immediate testing. After writing specific part of code, immediately open REPL software and then you need to perform testing on that function. And you can write code in any programming language like Python, Ruby, JavaScript, etc. And immediately you can see results. So if there is any problem with that code, you can easily fix it. This is how REPL works. Guys, this REPL is completely different from test driven development. Whereas in test driven development, at first we will write testing code. After writing testing code, we will create software. But whereas in REPL, we will write test code simultaneously. That means we will develop some part of code by creating independent function and then we will perform testing. So this method is very easy for developers. And you can also combine REPL with unit test. That is nothing but you can perform unit test for your independent function. Whereas unit test will check whether a certain part of code is working correctly or not. These are benefits of REPL. And the first one is quick feedback. Guess whenever you develop certain function, immediately you can perform testing and you can see feedback immediately. So if there is any problem, you can easily fix it. And second one is simplicity. As you are not developing complete software at a time, if you develop complete software at a time, the testing is very tough. But here we are developing only some part of code by creating independent function. So, which is very easy and simple. And third one is enhanced learning. Guys, there is no need of any complex setup for testing. Directly, you can open REPL software and then you can perform testing. As we will write testing by using various kinds of programming languages like Python, JavaScript, etc. 
Repel driven development is an effective approach, especially for those new to programming. It allows you to write clear and independent functions and allows for immediate testing. So it is very easy strategy for software development process.